Over the years, I've created thousands of hours of richly informative shows. Oh, I think this is glorious. We've amassed quite a library. I wondered, what could we do with all of these tapes? I soon realized that the very best solution was to give these tapes to my daughter, Alexis. Is mom wearing mom jeans? And her friend, Jennifer. Martha! That's like the worst thing ever! To see what they can come up with. Do you think your mom's gonna be mad at us? I hope so. <laughs> if you want to move your plant from one place to another, it's called transporting your plant. <laughs> what if it's a giant plant? Oh, no, I, think that, I think we're gonna learn about giant plant moving. I'm not all that sure. That you need to do that? Yeah, why can't you just go and buy a plant? Just go Everywhere to the plant you go, shop and buy a plant. Buy a plant? If you're moving. You don't wanna take your one... plant with you? No. Like when you go away for the weekend, you don't want to take your plants no. with you? You leave your plant in your house right. and hope for the best. Well, I'm getting ready for my annual house plant transplant. It's her annual, annual house plant transplant. Like One time per summer. year. No, twice a year. Twice biannual? Because no, once you years. take it up, semi annual. Every six months. So these plants go from here in Connecticut every spring to Maine and back again in the fall. From Connecticut to New York to Maine, back to New York. Why? She's crazy. <laughs> so this is a pygmy date palm, and I've constructed a box that's just about the right size for first the pot. First of all, she, she constructed didn't construct a box, anything. She bought a box so and somebody put Somebody else put it together. ...to handle, but I've lined the box with bubble wrap. What is the That'll point? Isn't it less trouble, less manpower, less money to just buy some new plants? Yeah, I think keep the plant in one place all year round. Yeah. Some newspaper and cover the soil with... Now this I don't understand at all. I do, so the soil doesn't shift. Uh, yep. Look at me. I know about plants. Soil. We also have to tie up the fronds. The fronds? What's a frond? It's like a palm frond. It's the. It's the what? It's not this. It's the frond. Listen, I'm not into botany. Now see, this is working very nicely, and we're going to use some tape across the top of the container. So now that's secure. Now let's truss up the leaves. You're gonna need quite she's, a she's lot. She's going of... crazy with the twine. What is she doing? I don't know. Good. And I'm gonna put a little bit around one of the strong parts of the plant. I don't know what the tape's doing. The tape looks the tape's like it's doing, doing nothing. nothing. It's just another plant. annoying step right. in this whole annoying process. And look at Martha's pants. Are they sateen? I think these are Hermes pants. She's in pants, sateen. Which is a perfect outfit to wear when you're gardening. Weaving it around. She's gonna ruin that plant. That plant's gonna die. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree. You know how much easier it is to handle a tree? How much easier, Martha? Tell us. Up, Tell the Jews how to handle a Christmas yeah, tree. Yeah, it's just flopping around. Look at how much easier already this I don't find this plant. easy at all. I think you could have just dumped it in the box. In or the just taken the car. Put down a towel. Put, yeah. Take a friend. Not over here. And we're gonna just have to look at this. <laughs> <Make sure. laughs> She's gonna throw out her back. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Very good. Now you could put another box over the top. And then I what? So you have to use two boxes, we'll bubble wrap, twine, twine tape, paper, newspaper, and then hire a truck and, and hire a truck to move, to move it. it. This bubble is reusable, so use as much as you want because you're just gonna recycle it. Look at her, she's a, it's a mess in this one. Your mother is a mess. Hold the bubble, fold it up neatly in a box, in a closet down in the basement. I don't know why she's bothering cutting it, because she's gonna use the whole roll. It. Whenever I need it. So this is gonna go around the plant. This piece of bubble that can go over the top. Hopefully without damaging anything. You're damaging it, Martha. She wants to fit it in that box, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that, and I'm going to use... Look at this, it's so horrible. But you can't even stack it, so now you have a... What you is she doing? A, 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 what? An 18 wheeler to what move is the all point? your plants. I don't get it. There, that's very nice. Do you think you can just pick that up with the tape? It's secure. <laughs> This says fragile with arrows going off. 
but if you want to make sure, you can make your own labels right on the computer and the printer these oh days. Oh my God, she printed up labels for the thing that says, it's going to say plant. <laughs> Let's say. <laughs> With, yes, it does. It says live plant. Not for long, Martha. We'll be reminded that this is a house plant. Dead plant. Dead plant. Specific care. And just a little bit of jostling, if any at all. It's ready to go. I think it's going to make it just fine. Wrapping up your house plans for safe transport, it's a good thing. I, I don't, yeah, I, yeah. Martha spends a lot of time transporting like furniture and plants from okay. one house to the other house. Why? Because yeah. she decides she wants that plant there and the other Can't plant there. Can't she get a second crocus? What's a crocus? It's a little tiny flower. <laughs> Can't you get an extra fern? Well, if there's a pygmy fern. fern. That, that was a pygmy fern? Pygmy? <laughs> Pygmy fern. Yeah. Can she get another pygmy fern? <laughs> I don't know if the pygmies work for that kind of money. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, my mother hated this iguana, by the way. Why? She was afraid it would scratch her. So all the parts you don't see is when she's backing away. Your mom? is gonna teach us about iguanas. I don't think she's gonna teach us about iguanas. I think Jane, this friend of mine, is gonna teach us about iguanas. She was on your mom's show? Yeah. With her iguana? Yeah, I made her take her iguana to Connecticut and be on the show. How cool is that? It's kinda, it depends on your point of view. Oh, it's Lizzie! Not long ago, my daughter Alexis, who lives down in Tribeca in New York City, told Give me my she street address. You. I mean, it's outrageous. Did you hear you? Yeah. The phone number will be scrolling on the bottom soon. Jane Hines Bideau. The iguana's name is Lizzie. It's a green Hello, iguana. Lizzie. And Jane is here with us today, as is Lizzie in all his glory. It's a he. Oh, it's a yes. boy? And, yes. Uh, oh, like Lizzie Lizard. He's adopted. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, I, I can just estimate. I do believe he's around six. Where does he live? He, he, he lives in an he's apartment. In a cage? No. He roams free. Where does he make? Container. He poops in the bathtub. Tupperware. What? Yeah. And he has grown and shown you his his. Full He's so beauty. cute. Because he really is a beautiful creature. She he dresses him up. He wants to. He and as what? It's her Christmas card. She makes him into things. He's warmed up. Look, we're gonna see him move fast. Oh. Um, Look at that iguana. He travels in the car every Look weekend. Look at him. Is he friendly? Does he know her? Does he like her? He knows her? her. He likes her. He hates me. I was gonna try to position Maybe he'll him come over. this way. One day I'm scratching Lizzie's cheek. Yeah. And he has his eye closed, and I'm like, oh, look, Lizzie really likes having his cheek scratched. And Jane said, no, he's just pretending you're not there. Aww. Yeah, he closed his eye and hoped I died. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. <laughs> he's watching you, I know. He's going to leave down there. No, look, Martha's making gourmet food he's with the gotta... cheese gutter. Is that what you want? Well, I usually just rip, rip the, big, the collard the big greens. Greens. Okay, collards take are, out the, are so good. Take out the stem. Do oh, iguanas collars. have yeah. sex organs? Yeah, he has a yeah, penis. So. Where? I guess where a penis should be. In mating season, it comes out all the time. That's gross. Yeah. So you brought him home, and he was ill, and you nursed him back. It took how long to well, get Well, I found please? this book. Uh, on the internet, and it came to I me. I have that book. You do? Book. I just started to yeah, she gave me one. <laughs> oh, okay, because you don't have an iguana. <laughs> no, but I'm interested in them. He just well, has like, little he is a tiny... reptile. Yes, he is a reptile. Okay, so he's... He's got tiny little serrated teeth that are kind of invisible. Does he go, ah... Uh... Oh, look at her. He loves her. And she pulled his mouth open. Yeah, she yanked his mouth open. So you can check for mouth rot and things she like that. She can do anything to him. Uh, what about her husband? Like teeth would be they don't live together, she and her husband. But he's used to me doing it. What? They just got married. They don't live together. Are they going to live together? It's unclear. What? One of them lives in Queens and one of them lives in Manhattan. They're married. Why aren't they living together? Yeah. They don't want to. Who has the baby? She does most of the time. Then when does the baby see the daddy? If there's When he comes over to have sex. Oh, what? All right. Oh, he loves bananas. Come on, oh, 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 he doesn't want to fall. He wants a banana. Now, how His often arms. does he go to sleep and where does he like to sleep? They're arboreal. They live in trees. So Comfort. in your apartment, yes. like, do you have a tree? Oh. No, he sleeps in my closet. Oh, he does. Look, like, you know, in nature, he'd be up in a tree. Oh, dandelion greens. Oh, he <laughs> likes those. Yes, What's he loves them. the thing about good. dandelion greens? Like, I guess my mother likes them. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I can't believe Lizzie's getting the dandelion yeah. greens. I want to make a salad. salad. Yes. So would you recommend? Oh, a snow pea. 
Get I love a snow pea pot. Your Martha mother just ate this. Martha just Martha ate, just ate, a snow ate the snow pea. Unbelievable. I'd only recommend it to people that would be dedicated to this animal, that would find it fascinating, that would be able to. Now he's escaping. <laughs> he's getting away from Martha. He's running away. Enclosure. Oh, my mother hated um, this iguana, by the way. Why? She was afraid of it. She was afraid it would scratch her. So all the parts you don't see is when she's backing away. And we mustn't forget that Jane is a wonderful professional photographer. When we come back, she's going to share some of her secrets for photographing your pets. How come Jane doesn't like to smile all that much? I think she was nervous. Was she scared? Well, I don't know. She's a photographer, and she actually does self-portraits. Oh. Nudes. She does nudes of herself? Mm -hmm. uh. Why do people She's do that? She's very talented. But you like doing that, They're though. arty. No, that's a different kind of... What kind do you like to take? The headless ones? Yeah, the ones <laughs> you send over the internet. <laughs> I don't even think Molly Ringwald's listening to Martha. I don't understand how so Molly good. could be this bad at cutting out a mitten. And Martha, Martha doesn't Martha care. Martha's, Martha's making that done. mitten, no matter what. I am so excited. Why? Because I'm going to learn how to make sweater mittens. But yep. you don't like sweaters. I like a cotton sweater. I you don't like a nice cashmere sweater. I hate cashmere and wool and... How about alpaca? Can't touch alpaca. What about mohair? Can't touch mohair. My skin is very sensitive, so if no, I... You know what? You're scaly. If I... Why don't you moisturize? I do moisturize. It just doesn't last very long. And I wash I my hands. I think you need to moisturize more. Okay, anyway, my point is with the sweater Maybe mittens... Maybe drink some more water. Okay. Well, what do you think, Molly Ringwald? Do you like these mittens? Molly nice. Ringwald? Molly's visiting us today because she really wants to learn how to sew. Of course she does. Because I think this is a zenith of Molly Ringwald's career. As the star of such movies as Pretty in Pink, The Breakfast Club, and everybody quickly fell in love with Molly Ringwald. Every teenage boy had a crush on you. I had a crush on you! <laughs> I didn't have a crush on her. Yeah. I didn't have a crush on her. Martha goes gay? You were sewing your prom dress or some kind of dress in Pretty in Pink. Yeah, you saw what the prom dress ended up looking like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ugly. So ugly. So, yeah. And you haven't sewn since? No. Oh, uh, I haven't seen Molly Ringwald fun, since 16 Candles and Jake Ryan. Do you remember Jake Ryan? No. Nope. <gasps> Jake Ryan! Sweaters. Sweaters like Love this. him! That may be in your closet, in your attic. This has a moth hole here and a moth hole in the sleeve. But the rest okay, of Okay, so you're taking... They're going to take sweaters and make them into mittens. Because they have moth holes. <laughs> <laughs> so don't repair your sweater. Just cut it up and make mittens. Not a great concept, but it's a concept. So, mm -hmm. Mitten size. And leave, a, leave quite a bit of wrist. Oh, so they're personalized oh, mittens. Yes. Oh. I'm going to do my hand, too. What's nice about making your own... Is it that. is confusing that Molly is doing her fingers since they're mittens, uh -huh. not gloves. The rest of your fingers, and oftentimes mittens are too short. What do you have to watch? Yeah. Do you not know how to do this? I'm doing it with them. And then cut this about a half an inch bigger than your tracing. You can use the bottom. Molly's way behind. Yeah. Or you know how dirty they get when you're walking the dog? Yeah. Do you have a dog? Uh, no. I don't understand how Molly could be this bad at cutting out a mitten. She can't cut it out at all. And Martha doesn't care. Martha's, Martha's making almost done. that mitten. Uh -huh. Yeah. No matter what. <laughs> so I think it's a good idea to line up the knitting so that it's straight So up basically down. they're taking a sweater. And they're cutting and the crap out of it. That looks and like cashmere. For a pair of mittens. So what do you, what do you hope to make first? Or what do you I hope think this do? is an awful lot of work so to make. Professional it's lessons. not. They, what have they done so far? They've cut out they some mittens. What'd they cut out? Mittens. Mittens. Oh, he did? Mittens. Yes. Mittens? Mittens. It's mittens. It's not, it's not mittens, it's mittons. It's M-I-T-T-O-N-S. Mittons? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? E-N-S. <laughs> it is E-N-S. M-I-T-T-E-N-S. Mittens. Jeez. You know when you say a word over and over and over again? No, I want to watch. Because it's so compelling. <laughs> so you have to, again, learn how to pin, learn how to baste, learn how to cut right. Is she even listening to her? I don't even think Molly Ringwald's listening to Martha. She's cutting. It's hard for yeah. her. I'm a little slow. Oh, don't Duh. <laughs> Molly needs a more remedial mitten-making class. Okay. <laughs> I learned a good thing from Miss Bear, my, my teacher, was to cut. I don't like Martha's a purple sweater. Really? Yeah. It's so flattering. <laughs> Just always hold it flat. Okay. If you lift it up, you might get a distortion. Right. Okay. A distortion in the very intricate shape of a it mitten. It looks... <laughs> so now unpin. 
These are also very good if you ski a lot. These are great cashmere liners for inside those mm -hmm. big heavy ski gloves. And it's ski gloves? You can't put a mitten in a glove. So now I'm gonna just start stitching around the perimeter of my mitten. I think Molly needs a script. She doesn't seem like she has anything to say. Other row. Oh, you do a double row? I guess. And, so and then do you cut it again? I don't know. Oh, no, because it's inside out. So when you turn it back... Sure, they're going to have this annoying yeah, ridge bugging you all the time. You can start sewing yours if you like. I'll give it a try. Okay. <laughs> mm. Do I put it in there? Like and that? the width of your foot is really your seam, so then you go like that. There. And do I just go down this and way? You go, and I think stitches. Molly Ringwald's not wearing a bra. <laughs> I was going to say, she needs to put a bra on. I think she forgot for to wear TV. a bra. You can go. And keep the edge of the fabric at the edge of the foot. Okay. Uh huh. The hard part is when you get to around the thumb. Nice nails, Molly. Couldn't she have gotten a manicure? She doesn't care. She Look should at her care. outfit. How could she care? She should have, because she was going to be on television. How do you she not get a manicure? Care. It's an industrial machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, now you're going to. See, now I'm like thumbing. I'm you're going down the middle of your thumb. She's making a mess. Now she's ruining what's, what's left of the sweater. So we're going to have a thumb that's about the size of a chopstick. Uh huh. <laughs> It's hard. Maybe I should stick to acting. What do you think? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Molly Ringwald, for coming to the studio Thank today. Thank you. And I know we'll finish bye. your bye. bye. In fact, next time I come back, get a bra. I'll go to her dress. Maybe we can make a bra out of a sweater. I think so. We can trace her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so what did we learn? We didn't even get to see them turned inside no, out. We did saw we? nothing. At least I know how to spell mitten. <laughs> my D D O N. Yeah. <laughs> like if I didn't hear the dog snoring, I would get up and run downstairs to see why they weren't snoring. I understand that. See, that's why when you have kids, you're gonna be a great mom. As long as they look like bulldogs. <laughs>